Okay, the next thing that we need to talk about is your memory cards. So there's a couple different options whenever we're working with memory cards. Now, um, if you are used to shooting uh, or if you have any kind of like other digital products, if you're using a like, digital camera before, you're probably pretty familiar with this one. This is just your basic SD card. All right, I use, I try to stick to like SanDisk because it's a pretty professional brand. Um, sometimes you can get yourself in trouble whenever you buy a cheap one that you find on Amazon or go to Walmart and find one. I'm telling you, don't don't be afraid to, if you're gonna buy your own, don't be afraid to spend a little money on these things because they'll last. I've, I mean, I've had some of my, my memory cards for you know upwards of seven years now. Um, I don't try to keep them that long, but some of them I know are still good, okay? But this one right here is a SD card, all right? And this is what most of you guys will use with your entry level cameras. This is the kind that people use over at Umedia with the Canons that we have available. Uh, this is pretty familiar. You can find these just about anywhere. But again, try to look for either a SanDisk or a Lexar. Um, that's just more of a trustworthy brand. Okay. So the one that you're going to be less familiar with is going to be this one. This is called a CF card. A lot of your professional grade cameras are going to come uh, with a slot that's only for a CF card. I'm going to a little closer so you can kind of see. See how, see how big that is? I'm going to kind of compare it to the, uh, the SD card. Okay, it's not just an old school version of a memory card. It's just that that is the it's like the standard for most professional photographers is a CF card. Once you start moving up to like the full frame cameras, which we'll talk more about later, um, this is what we're going to be working with. Okay, so uh, as you can see, it's a lot a lot different in size. Uh, it's about double the size of your SD card. But this is what I use. Um, it really depends what your preference is. Some people don't like carrying around a 64 gigabyte one, but my camera takes really big files and I shoot videos sometimes. So this is really required sometimes to do that. Okay. <clears throat> so just mind you, uh, CF card or sorry, SD card, CF card, SD card, CF card. Okay. So this is a compact flash card. It, they've been using this forever. Um, the technology is really not any different than these. It's just this is what most of them prefer. Um, some say it's a little more secure. A lot of it's just gear talk. Don't really worry too much about it. This is just as good nowadays with the technology the way it is. Um, just like you're going to take care of your lenses, take care of these, okay? Don't let them get dirty. See these right here? This is what the camera reads. This is what the computer reads whenever you put it into your computer. And I'll show you later how that actually connects. And then see that right there? Uh, this is why some people prefer these. I'm going to turn it like that so you can kind of see the holes. Um, there's a lot of pins inside there that actually have to go inside the camera, like that go from the camera to this. So you want to make sure that you keep it really, really smooth when you're taking it in and out. Don't try to jam it in there if it's not going in. It only goes in one way. Same thing with the SD card. It only goes in one way. Don't try to force it in if it's not fitting, okay? So uh, I'll show you in a second <clears throat> where that actually goes. But see on the side there, there's a little rail. And that rail is where it actually guides in, okay? So we'll show you how that actually goes in there in just a minute. But uh, these are your basics. This is what you need uh, if you're going to be doing any kind of photography. Most of you will be using this. Some of you will be using this. We could talk more about this in person later. But just note, these are the really important pieces that you need. Just like on most of the cameras that you're going to see, it's going to have some kind of slot that you have to actually slide this into. <clears throat> Mine right here is on the side and it's really easy. You just pull back and it flips open just like that. All right. Most Nikons the same way, just like that. Now I know that Canons, uh, it's actually, if you turn it over on the bottom in the same spot that the battery compartment's in, it's actually a little thing right here where you got to pull the switch and it opens up. This is actually where you're going to find it on the Canon on the bottom. Okay. Right back, right by the battery. But uh, right here is where mine goes. Okay. So you'll see inside there that I have two different size pieces. Okay. The smaller one is obviously for the SD card. The larger one is for the CF card in that if you look at that, it'll kind of demonstrate for you on where that's supposed to go and how that goes. Okay. So first I'm going to take my SD card right here. All right. And I'm going to slide that in just like that. Now I know 
at first you'd be like, well, I don't know exactly how it goes in there. After a while you figure it out, I just kind of know where mine goes. But mine goes uh, face down, okay, onto the back. So this part is the same spot as that. So just like this, slide it in there, and then you push. And you'll feel that. And just about all, C all SD cards are the same exact method of how it comes out. Um, you push it and it releases like a spring, okay? So you push it in, just lock it in. You kind of hear it too. Hear that? Okay. Now that's in there. So now I'm going to take my CF card and see these, those little pins, that little pin slot right there, that has to line up on here too, okay? So same thing. Mine goes, the front of this is facing the same as the back of my camera, which seems kind of confusing, but... And you slide it in there and you push and you'll see this guy right here raise up. Ready? Boom, just like that. Don't try to force it. If it's not going, don't do it. And I'll show you, <clears throat> if I try to put it in like this, it just won't go. If I try to put it in backwards, it's not gonna go anywhere. Don't jam it, you'll break it, okay? So just put it in, push just like that. And then same thing, that little gray button right there, push it, it pops right out. Just like that, really simple. And then whenever you're done with this, Push it, pop it out, okay? So put that in there, put that in there, close, lock, done.